When you browse the web, your computer connects to a remote server, which sends information back to it. A proxy server acts as a middleman in that connection. Your client or app connects to the proxy, which relays your request to their final destination. A proxy server processes your request, but covers up a lot of identifying information, including your original IP address, where the request came from, operating system data, and more. In a nutshell, it helps prevent third parties from tracking you easily. One thing that you need to understand is that proxy servers work at the application level. For example, you could connect to a proxy server address through your browser, which protects you while browsing. However, that same proxy server won't cover your tracks in other applications unless they are also connected to it. That gives you more granular control over the way you access the web, but it also makes it harder to achieve full privacy. Proxy servers also offer a lot of other upsides, including enabling you to access geo-restricted content, speeding up loading times through caching, protecting you from malware by filtering content, and preventing access to restricted websites within company networks. To connect to a public proxy server, you need to know its IP address. With it, you can configure your browser or application to route its request through it. There are a lot of proxy servers to choose from. Let's go over the most common types. Open proxies. This type of proxy doesn't require authentication and is often public. That means that your data might not be safe from whoever controls that server. Forward proxy servers. Companies and institutions rely on this type of proxy server to route internal connections to the outside world. Forward proxy servers determine whether you can access specific websites or services, which help keep networks safe. And finally, reverse proxy servers. In a nutshell, they help filter incoming requests to your website, which helps with privacy and caching, among other things. You can find dozens, if not hundreds, of open proxy services around the web. They're usually free, and they enable you to either connect through them using an IP address or directly through your browser. They sound handy, but they raise a lot of security concerns. Relying on a free service often negates a lot of the security benefits of using a proxy server in the first place. This is because they often log your information, they can open you up to vulnerabilities, and free proxy servers don't encrypt your data. It's also worth noting that there have been instances of free proxy services selling their users bandwidth. And since so many people want to use them, they tend to not be fast. In most scenarios, if you're going to use a proxy server, it should be a premium service. A premium proxy server can be an excellent investment if you need to access geo-restricted content, log web traffic to ensure no one is misusing company resources, protect your network from malware, and enforcing web policies to prevent team members from accessing dangerous or inappropriate websites. One more thing, it's important to keep in mind that proxy servers don't encrypt traffic. If your primary concern is protecting sensitive data, then you might be better off looking into a VPN. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.